I'm Bill Moore. I am the president uh, of Packmore. We started uh, in 1989 when I, uh, when I joined the company. It's been one of the great um, joys of working and growing a business is to be able to connect to a community and have that community say back to you, thank you for caring for the least of these in our, or in our, in our community. That, that, that's valuable. That's incredibly fulfilling because when Jesus talks to his people and he talks to us and tells us what he asks us to do, he always says, care for the least of these, care for the poor, care for the widow, care for the orphan. He wants us to do that. He wants to help deal with the suffering that comes from all kinds of poverty, you know, whether it's financial or emotional or spiritual, whatever the case is, he wants us to deal with the suffering that comes from that. And so I get a great deal of satisfaction at at being a follower of Jesus Christ and, and, and doing that work that he's called me to do, which is to deal with the suffering that people go through by helping them have a job, by giving them a chance that nobody else would. And how many times that happens to people here in these communities where they don't get a second chance. They go to jail, they're done, there's no way out, they're not gonna get a job. That's bad for those people, those are good people. Some of the best people we have working in this plant have come out of the prison systems in these local communities. They're hardworking, they care about their jobs, they're dedicated, they value what, they want, what you've given them, they appreciate the opportunity, and they're great people. They just needed to unwind some mistakes that they made, and I think that's really what we're called to do. So that makes me very excited and proud to be a part of that and honored to help some of these folks that are here. Indiana Dream Team um, is an organization that's just south of here. It's run by a guy named Eric Lashbrook. And Eric and uh, Adam Rollins, our plant manager, knew each other through church. And Eric uh, has somewhere between uh, six and eight young men and a couple of women now and then that are on his farm. They're young men and women that are, have drug-related problems. They're, the court is giving them an opportunity to make another choice, go to prison or choose this option. And this option puts them on a farm where they work for a year, they're in a family setting, they have very strict boundaries, they get them off the drugs, they get them away from the city where they're not on the drugs. And then after that first year ends of being on that farm, they really need to get back going into the workforce. Where that next step? They found us an absolutely perfect fit. These guys were fantastic working here and really loved it. Our Christian values made that synthesize well because they understood where we were coming from, we understood where they were coming from and uh, we would uphold those values and uh, that's how we got started. So, uh, so we continue to do that as he, as he graduates young people into that next year, they come to us, they work for a year and then some of them stay and then some of them go on to the next phase of the program, which does completely live on their own and find a, yet another opportunity. So it's a great partnership and wonderful to have. The young men and women that come here uh, and work from Indiana Dream Team typically learn how to live by a certain set of corporate values, you know, the values that the company say are important, um, how to lead, how to work in teams, how to work on projects together with multiple people, uh, how to deal with adversity when things go wrong, how do I manage that, you know, when, when, when somebody doesn't do what they're supposed to do, how do I deal with that, uh, that type of situation, when I'm held accountable for getting work done, because we're a manufacturing plant, there's a lot of pressure to produce. When I don't hit my targets, how do I handle that emotionally? They learn how to deal with all of that. Makes them tremendously strong emotionally, gives them great skills to go out and lead in the workforce.